Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to a new video. It's been an interesting week for the extraction shooter genre. A lot of crazy stuff has happened. Some good, but a lot of them worse. Let's start with the good first. Did you know that Arena Breakout Infinite is beginning its closed beta access this May 8th? Indulge yourself with a new and immersive survival shooter experience completely free to play. You can get your chance for closed beta access by supporting the following socials of Arena Breakout Infinite. See what I did there? That wasn't sponsored, but if this video goes well, I may be able to get you guys 3 free keys to play the game early, so make sure to drop those likes and even share this with your friends. So even if I can't play this game because of my hardware limitations, I will do my best so that you guys can play it instead. There have been really great games recently introduced to the looter shooter or extraction shooter genre. You have games like Level Zero Extraction, Grey Zone Warfare, Arena Breakout Infinite, and yes, I'm also gonna include the ones that have potential to be big such as Lost Light and even Hawk. You can easily see the shift of the meta where before we were in an era where battle royale games were the kings of the gaming industry. But now you only see a few that strive and even fewer game developers that try to make a BR game nowadays since the attention of gamers are in different genres now. More gamers have catered to action RPGs such as Monster Hunter, Souls-like games, and even fighting games like Tekken or Street Fighter and all built with a loyal fanbase as well. So for a game to fully grow or even survive in this new era of gaming, a community must be built and sustained carrying an identity that will be welcoming and also familiar to both casual and hardcore players alike. And this applies to any genre as well. With that formula, any game's growth can be exponential. But in reality, not everyone shares the same idea. Now I don't really share much from the Bible, but this verse really resonates with me with how awful the decisions are being made right now. For those who don't know, Escape from Tarkov just announced their unheard edition. So to be able to play EFT, you need to purchase an edition of the game, and these editions are a way to support and fund the continuous development of the game, and each edition comes with benefits for the player apart from the access of the game itself. Each edition has their own benefits with examples like extra storage, faster progression. So in a way, it kind of models a pay-to-win scenario but in a minor scale and that's why it's not really emphasized as much. Before, there were four editions available. We had the standard one, the left behind edition, prepare for escape edition, and the edge of darkness editions. As I've said, each have their own benefits and the more expensive the edition, the better your benefit will be. The most expensive one of the four that I've mentioned is the EOD or the Edge of Darkness Limited Edition priced at $150 and is already giving a big value in terms of financial support for the game. People who have purchased this edition can be considered as loyal supporters of the game. This can vary to hardcore fans of EFT up to the best content creators in the extraction shooter space, or even people who just want to start to invest their support for the game. As of today's recording, the EOD edition does not exist anymore and is instead replaced with the Unheard edition. But before we go into pricing, the Unheard edition comes with the following notable features. First is you can play offline with your friends with PvE mode with no wipe progression. You get an asset flip knife. You get highest increase in stash or storage, more PMC pockets, increased character skills on the start and better starting equipment, increased fence standing which means scavs won't shoot you in a certain distance, more flea market slots, early access to test servers, and free access to all subsequent DLCs. So pretty much the same benefits that the EOD edition had just with some additions such as access to an offline server and the usual early progression advantage over other players. But here's where it becomes really bad. The Edge of Darkest edition worth $150 which is already big in my opinion is now replaced with the Unheard edition where it's worth $250. That's a $100 increase to an already overpriced edition of the game. Now for me that's just too much to ask for and this already paints a picture of a pay to win scenario as this edition gains the most advantage above everyone else. Now I may not be the best person to talk about this since I've never played Tarkov before but let's hear it from someone else or better yet let's hear it from the outcry of the community themselves. Now this is a still screen capture of the discord of EFT. I said still because this chat is not stopping. Everyone is copy pasting the same amount of text and its contents as a protest against the decision that the developers have made. The copy pasta reads, since 2016. Players have supported the developers by purchasing the highest edition of the game. For 8 years, we've been recommending this game to friends, 
bringing more and more players to the community. And what was the developer's response? They've blown us off, refused to comment, and only encouraged those who have lost all respects for themselves to continue to pour money in. I had personally had high hopes for Tarkov. In my eyes, it was a high quality and most ambitious product in the entire market. This is unacceptable. This is selfish. This is disrespectful. You've disgraced yourselves completely. You've lost loyal players. You've betrayed the idea. It's disgusting. To everyone who feels the same way, don't be silent, spam, make memes, spread the word wherever it's relevant. This cannot be tolerated. So that kind of sums up how the loyal EFT community has reacted towards this new update. The outrage also appears from content creators of EFT that have been loyal and consistently making content for the game for years. Content creators such as Pestily. I post this because I thought it was funny. It's like pretty much, I kind of like in my mind, I was seeing it as like Nikita burning down the kingdom. If you've seen Game of Thrones, you'll understand the reference. And then I pretty much walk out for the day and I made a couple of tweets and stuff about dream hack um, because i was doing a panel on that bsg came out a little later on did a tweet uh talking about how they're going to add all this stuff in for eod honestly i didn't even really read it out that much but i knew instantly the second i saw high priority um matchmaking for six months and access offline to pve eod owners six months i just give people what they want like honestly if i could just say it right now bsg really could solve this quite quickly if people they want to put a 250 price tag on anything they can do that like people can be willing to pay it if they really want to but the fact that, and I could be wrong in saying this, but I believe that EOD owners, including myself, feel ripped off when they think they're going to buy a version of the game. They shouldn't have to pay any more money post that to get features of the game. So for example, the offline co-op progression. Now in my mind, and I could be wrong in saying this, but I don't understand how if a game can cost 150 bucks, if they're wanting to charge $100 specifically, because there was a tweet about this, they want to charge $100 specifically for the offline co-op, they're charging full price for like, it's almost like a mod to a game and it just doesn't make sense. So really that should be just like a $20 DLC at best and should be accounted as part of the EOD. And then on top of that, I only think they, they could have put this version at $160 and got $10 off every single EOD owner and every EOD owner would have been like, oh well, at least it's only 10 bucks. You know, like there's so many other ways they could have skinned skin a cat here to make it better, but let's leave it at that. They fucked up. It's up to them to solve this. It's not like, I don't see that happening. Landmark. So yeah, not a fan of this. The actual gameplay changes they made in the patch were good. The This edition I think is garbage and they should be monetizing the game through, you know, the normal methods, like just make some cool cosmetics for people to buy. Don't add junk like this that is giving people in-game stuff and it's not pay to win, but you're giving people stuff that doesn't really belong in the game and just make cool cosmetics, add stuff like that that doesn't affect the game directly. If you want to monetize it further, do it like everyone else that does it. You know, we've seen a million games that monetize completely fairly. I don't see any reason to be doing this. That's just my thoughts. You could disagree. Maybe some of this stuff will come out a bit more and it uh it won't end up being a big deal i don't think it will be but i just don't like the road that they're going on with things like this i was i already wasn't really a fan of eod edition and this is kind of just expanding on that in all the worst ways and more expressed their displeasure of this update issues and shady moves from battle state games to the developers of the game and we won't dive in too deep there, but if you do want to, you can binge watch this video to gather all the details of the unfolding issues. Battle State Games are the creators of EFT and have been somewhat failing on both ends, as they have launched this overpriced pay to win edition, according to Forbes, and now they're also making a mess on social media. Here we see them calling out Arena Breakout Infinite and dropping words such as plagiarism and belittling the game before it even comes out. Although this may be a jab from BSG's end, this just makes Arena Breakout Infinite look even better. Like how petty can you be to respond like a spoiled brat on Twitter? But setting that aside, this became good press and exposure for Arena Breakout Infinite as we recently got the news that there will be an additional 10,000 slots to be filled for their closed beta test version of the game. Which means many of us who are avidly waiting for this game will get more chances to play it early. So again, if you want to also get a chance to play Arena Breakout Infinite early, be sure to drop those likes and share this video as more traction it gets, the more chance we get to receive 3 extra keys for the game. And even though we don't get any slots for the CBT, rest assured that Arena Breakout Infinite will be free to play with a functioning anti-cheat and will focus more on your enjoyment in experiencing the extraction shooter you deserve. That's $250 saved. 
Now here's where I leave it to you. What are your thoughts about all of this? Let me know in the comments below. Let's start a discussion. And also if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks guys.